Hi there, welcome to another in our series of videos focusing on the labour market. In this short session, we will look at transfer earnings and economic rent. Take a look at the annual income of the world's best paid actors in 2016. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, accumulating $64 million of income. Even Brad Pitt, even Brad Pitt, $31.5 million of income in 2016, according to Forbes magazine. Now, earnings are made up normally for normal people of wages plus overtime pay or some bonuses, maybe some commission income. So when we think about the total return to labour, we think about the earnings that labour uh, accrues. Have a think about uh, the types of incomes that these top actors could get paid. And uh, within the labour market, we think of uh, two particular concepts, transfer earnings and economic rent. So here's a labour market diagram showing labour supply, labour demand. The equilibrium wage for this particular occupation is A and there are D number of people employed. So what are transfer earnings? Well, transfer earnings are defined as the minimum reward required to keep a factor of production such as labour in its current occupation. And transfer earnings in a labour market diagram are shown by the area underneath the labour supply curve. So that's the shaded area OBCD. Of course, the total uh, earnings of labour equal the wage multiplied by employment. So the, the other area must be economic rent. Economic rent is the uh, amount earned by a factor of production above the minimum amount they need to, to work in a current job, current occupation. And the area of economic rent is always shown by the area below the wage and above the labour supply curve. In this case, the light blue shaded area, BAC or ABC. The total reward to the factory input labour is the sum of transfer earnings and economic rent. Now, economic rent uh, depends in part on the elasticity of labour supply. When the labour supply curve is inelastic, then typically more of the reward to labour will be economic rent rather than transfer earnings. In this example, I've drawn a fairly inelastic labour supply, and there's the area of transfer earnings in grey, there's the area of economic rent in light blue again, and the total area is still OACD, but here the balance has shifted towards economic rent rather than transfer earnings. So these uh, are the world's best paid actors in 2016. I've just missed being on the list for some strange reason. Uh, what about the world's female uh, actresses? What about the world's most best paid actresses? Are they paid more or are they paid less than the men? Well, according to Forbes magazine, they're paid less. These are the top earning actresses in the world in 2016. Jennifer Lawrence, way out in front, $46 million, all the way down there. So it seems as if uh, male actors get paid less, uh, get paid more than female actresses. And you might want to think about the economics of that. Does it have something to do with economic rent in the market for TV and films? There we go. There's a quick look at transfer earnings and economic rent.